Hi, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem, I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, my wife's and mine uh, wedding day. <laughs> Isn't it a great idea, Ima, to tell them the no. shocking truth about our wedding day? So, we got married in Kafdalet, 24th of um, Elul. It was a few days before of Rosh Hashanah in that year. It was... Um, it was a very powerful day, right, Ima? Yes, Abba, it was. <laughs> My wife, she is very... Um, she wants me to succeed in life. <laughs> she wants me to, to be in front. So... Um, there was something very special happened between us in that day but in the same time something very horrible and very painful happened in the world so in that day it was September 11 2001 and in that moment in that time that I came to pick up my wife from the um, beauty salon when she, where she was uh, dressing up and, and fixing her hair and everything and preparing for this uh, wonderful moment of uh, marrying me <laughs> so um, we saw on the television that um, aeroplanes hit the, um, the twins buildings and we didn't know what to do with ourselves. It was such a crash, a crash moment. We, we were in Israel in those days, and Israel is seven hours or so later than, um, um, earlier, later, I'm sorry, later than, than the US time. So in the more, it was morning, for you guys in uh, in the US but for us it was noon late afternoon it was before the evening and uh, everyone told us that the world is um, is falling apart like uh, if you remember that day everyone in the world thought it's the end of the world everyone assumed that that's gonna lead to a horrible war with no end but uh, in the same day we got married. Something happened in uh, in Jerusalem that, in the same time of that horrible destruction, very painful um, moment for thousands and thousands of families and people in the U.S. and around the world, for us, something been built in the holy city of Jerusalem, and the Talmud, the Gemara. The ancient scripts of, of Judaism is saying that before that the redemption is taking place in the world, so there are going to be big destructions. But those destructions are coming in an equal way to the destruction. It means that first of all you're going to experience a certain destruction, a certain pain, and in that time exactly the Creator will build something big, something fantastic. And it's a very painful feeling. It's something that is very, very hard for people like us to understand how can it be. But the truth is that uh, you can feel that all of the pain and all of the sorrow that we're experiencing in our life, in a way is coming for more noble reasons and from certain aspects you can see that those hard hours and the difficult times that you experience in life are bringing also good things into the world so now person not always know how to put the finger on those things and doesn't always know exactly how to 
if he should surrender to the pain, if he should surrender to the feeling of loss and to the challenges or that he should fight and argue and, and not to accept it, try to change those decrees or whatever. But in the end of the day, I think that um, we're finding ourselves that the pain and the loss that we experience is um, bringing a lot of good in the end to the world. Before our... Hey, who is that? Hello, Sneaky. How are you? My wife and I, um, in our deep and amazing relationship, found ourselves many times that we're arguing with no end. And even before our wedding, we found ourselves fighting and, and don't understand each other and, and, and banging the heads to the wall in so many situations. And we also made a lot of changes in our lives and all of those changes brought us to to grow and to achieve amazing things so even though that that pain and that loss and 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 all those doubts that we experienced and all the sorrow that we experienced was so painful and so hard even though because that we never gave up on each other and because that we were strong enough to 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 keep on holding on because the, the love that was between us was enormous and still is and only growing and the dedication to each other and our love and appreciation to the truth and to honesty and to good attributes to good 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 old um, honesty really brought us to, to where we are today that we achieved so much together and I think that if you can look um, for a second through my sunglasses you'll find that <laughs> you'll find that my wife is happy if you're gonna look at this uh, at reality through my own eyes, you'll see that uh, that I achieved something very big. My wife wants me to succeed, so I think that what that is so beautiful in our relationship is that we are always sharing, that we're always letting everyone enjoy our wisdom and we're sharing it with everyone as much as we can and maybe this is a certain perspective that we can see that that horrible destruction and loss and horrible pain that took place in the day of our wedding in a way by our good intention and by our good honest relationship and the bugs that are attacking us every second is um, is bringing redemption to the world in a spiritual way so even though that we experienced a horrible loss and, and huge pain and many thousands of families are still in daily pain and sorrow in the same time the Creator chose a certain couple to get married and to build their life in in that day and through that day and on to the future many many souls and um, been woke up to to see the light to see Hashem and to recognize his godliness and and his faith in the world Many times we were in those situations that we felt like that's it, it's the end. For many, many years we were, I was learning in Yeshiva in Jerusalem under uh, Rav Shalom Arush, 
I was very close to him and for many years I thought that that is the destiny of my life and that that's the place that I should stay in. But with the years we realized that uh, it was not our place at all and that uh, we were just uh, prisoners in our own thoughts and in our own fears and we decided to to break our way out from that ghetto area neighborhood and community and today we're finding ourselves that we're able because of our dedication to the truth to provide answers and advice to thousands and thousands of souls that are struggling in issues that are pretty much similar to, to ours and only because we were brave enough not to surrender to the darkness and to the pain and to the fears because of that we found advice and I think that every person every person in this world saw certain things in life and learned certain things and been educated and, and developed and grew up in many fantastic and enormous ways and and not to share and not to talk and not to believe in yourself that what that you learned and your deep conclusions are right and meaningful not to believe in that and to ignore that is a silly thing and you're blocking light that the creator is passing through you from those ones that are surrounding you and it's a shame it's a pity it's not right people around you they need you like the people around me they need me people around you they need you they need you and they love you and they care about you and your thoughts and your wisdom mean so much to them what do you say, Ima? I have to say except what you said. I don't know. If you agree, you can say Amen. If you disagree or you want to add, you can say I disagree or I want to add. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, she agrees with me. Um, one of the first visions that I had took place in our house in uh, Rechavia couple of years ago it was one of the first real deep visions that I literally saw spiritual sights while I was awake and one of the main things that I saw is that all of the success of the Muna project depends in the Shalom Bait in our good relationship my wife's and, and mine um, because when I'm teaching, when I'm giving the classes, meeting people, answering questions, I'm, I'm sharing from my life experience. And my life experience is the wisdom that is coming and growing up between my wife and, and, and me and I in our house, in our daily conversations. We're driving to the supermarket, we're going to the park, we're talking, raising our children together. In those moments we're growing and we're achieving that wisdom that I'm sharing with you later in the evenings in my classes and and the beauty of all of that is that is really the intention of the Creator that Hashem said that in a house that you have Shalom in that house real peace in that house so the Shekhinah the Spirit of Hashem is hovering on that house and like that we learned on the Western Wall, on the Kotel Amaravi, on the Wall of Tears, that the Shekhinah never left this, that place, that magnificent place. And it's over there always. So if your Shekhinah is over there always, and people are yearning to go to the Western Wall and to cry over there and to pray over there, put a note between those holy stones, what's the reason? Because it's a beautiful site, because it's in the Jerusalem, because of what? 
Because that the spirit of Hashem is over there. Because that the Shechina Kedasha is over there. But in a house that there is peace and deep understanding and honesty and especially truth and real kindness. In a house like that, the spirit of Hashem, the Shechina Kedasha is also hovering. So you can come to our house or you can enjoy the wisdom that is growing and coming out of our house and to enjoy this amazing, amazing, amazing divine spirit of Hashem because the, the wa water is pure and coming out of the holy source of honesty, support and understanding and I'm taking my wife in my heart and in my mind to all of my classes and the teachings that I'm teaching are very much inspired from her wisdom from her extra wisdom and super deep sensitivity and attraction to the truth. And I think that this is the real secret of our success and your success as a result of our deep understanding that you're enjoying a real honest and wisdom that is coming out from the heart. And I'm very thankful to Hashem that I'm able to say those words and, and being humble and being simple and not, uh, and not doubting at all that it's all a gift from heaven and a blessing from above. And also I'm very happy that... Shlomo Ephraim with us! How are you Shlomo? You made it! Is that a Batman cap? Shlomo? Yes. What are you doing with it? Shlomo, are you flying in your Batmobile? No. What are you doing with your bat cap? Having fun, hanging out. Very proud of you, Shlomo. You're a cute kid with a bat cap. Yes, Yosef, what do you want to say? What? You want to go to the bridge somewhere else? Come, come, come to the camera one second. Come, let me see your shiny face. You want to say a word of, of wisdom? I don't know. You don't know. That's a real deep word of wisdom. Also, King Solomon said that he doesn't know and he was the wisest one in the world. Israel Natan, you have fans. You know, you have fans and friends. Yes. And I think that you also have a Batman cap, right? Right. Right. How are you? Good. Are you smiling? Yes. Very good. Who is your best buddy in the world? Mm, I don't know. What? You don't know anything? My kids don't know. I think I know. Who? 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 Who is your best friend? Mm. No, tell us. Don't be shy. <laughs> Someone from the movies? Yeah. Who who is it? Who's your best friend from the movies? Who you like Batman. the most? Batman! That's it. We're crowning Batman. Batman, you are the chosen one for today. And here we have some friendly duckies coming to share their lives with us. Kids don't fish the ducks. We like Batman, we're fans of Batman. What's so great in Batman that we like him so much? That Batman was human, he was no alien, he was a regular human being, a broken one. A broken one that his parents been killed, took away from him and he grew up as an orphan and he felt like he needs to go out to the world and bring back justice and because of that we admire him and we know that his intention of you Batman were your followers Amuna project is following Batman bringing quiet justice peace and love to the world. Thank you guys. I'm happy that you're following us and that you're happy with us. We're happy with you as well. And may your 
prayers and requests will be answered in the world as soon as possible. Amen. Amen. Give us a like, Shalom Ephraim, and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.